Hi, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk to you all about our gorgeous Tropic concealers, sheer foundations and mineral foundations, also known as the Flawless Collection. So I'm going to take you through all the different elements of it, how to apply it um, and who it's best suited for. So let's do this. So first of all, what I've done is prep my skin. So I've done my cleanse, my tone, my moisturise, all that sort of stuff with Tropic, of course. Then I've gone in with my beautiful Sunday, which is an SPF 50. So a great primer for underneath your skin and whatever the weather, just get your SPF on. Absolutely fab. So I've done a nice little, very thin layer of this, really sets your skin up perfectly for application of makeup. So we've got three different elements here. I'm going to take you through one at a time. So first of all, we have our Beauty Booster. So our Beauty Booster is a sheer foundation and it comes in 11 shades. It has an SPF of 35 and it can be applied in numerous ways. So you can use fingers, you could use a sponge, you can use a brush, whatever way you like to put foundation on your face, go for it. Um, but it's very, very light. It's buildable. So it is a very sheer, glowy type look. So it is very buildable. So if you want like a natural look um, and a second skin, that's what you're looking for here. So it comes, like I say, in 11 shades. I've got shade two because I'm quite pale. So if I just show you that, just put a little dot like that. What I tend to do is place it around my skin and then just build it. So, you know, it's better to put a little bit on and then go from there and build from there. So I'm first of all, just going to dab a little bit. It's lovely. It's actually really nourishing. Um, as with all the Tropics products, we have no chemicals in there, no, no, no chemical nasties, no hidden ingredients. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely natural, beautiful. So we've got two different options. What we're going to do is we've got a sponge, which is the little makeup sponge like this. Um, and we can spritz that. We're going to set it. The idea behind wetting your sponge, first of all, is just so that all of the actual product itself is not absorbed too much into the sponge. Um, that's the main complaint people have about sponge application is that obviously uh, you use a lot more foundation. So we're just going to spray it a little bit with a bit of morning mist and that protects, it gives a little layer over the top of the sponge and protects it and just helps with that absorption. So we're going to go in very, very gently and we're just going to do tapping motions while she tries to talk. But you can go around the crevices on your nose, underneath your eyes, you can put this over your eyelids to also then help with um, that natural pigmentation you might have on your eyelids but you can do this so quickly you can just tap very very gently into place and push in where you feel you need it but this is very sheer this is so on the go you can do this so quickly and it is like a second skin but just a lovely glow to the skin and a little bit of coverage but you can build it as I said I'm just looking in a mirror here, apologies for that. My eyes aren't great, so I have to have, you know, I can't do my, have glasses on and do makeup. What I'm gonna show you actually, to blend it in, just so I can show you the alternative, is our beautiful flat head kabuki brush. This is fab. I'm more of a, a brush person when it comes to foundation, it has to be said, I think just for ease of application. Um, but this is a lovely flat head one, so super soft. Um, you can, I would not suggest putting the products directly onto here, still put it onto the back of your hand, tap it in, bit of excess off and then just gently, and it is just gentle motions to blend. It was, I really like this. Because that's the only thing about the sponge, it can take a while and you feel like you're sort of dabbing your skin for quite some time. So my preference is always with a brush or fingers i mean fingers will help with the heat and it will absolutely blend into your skin even more but if you love the sponge it's certainly doable on a sponge and i'm just checking my face out in this bit of apologies just to make sure it's all blended in and i just go a little bit over my eyes so you can get a very natural sheer glow this is perfect for somebody who just wants to look like themselves but just a little bit turned up a little notch a little bit of um covering and maybe a bit of pigmentation just to give a bit of glow to the face a little bit of sheer coverage but you can build that and that's absolutely fantastic that's our beauty booster so as you can see this is the end of the little very sheer coverage just very light and you can continue with that with your makeup but what we're going to do now is get on to stage two so the next product I want to mention to you and demonstrate to you is our mineral foundation. 
So this is a lovely light reflecting spherical powder. It comes in 11 shades again. This has SPF of 20, so it's still getting that SPF protection in there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. If I just unscrew the lid, I'm wearing shade two. So this has got a little mesh net on top. So all the product sits in here in this little tray. And this is what's so great about Tropic is that everything is fully recyclable. Um, you get refillable versions, you get it in a little pouch and you can just keep using this tray over and over again. So the idea being is that you can swirl around your Kabuki brush and then you can do a very light spherical motions all over your face and it's a lovely light dusting. But this is where Tropic, you can then get buildable. So if you've already done your beauty booster, you can then now layer it with a bit more of a full coverage look with the powder, or you can alternatively just stay with the beauty booster, have a very light everyday, your second skin look, or you can just go in if you prefer powders, just go straight in with the actual mineral foundation instead. So the choice is yours, depending on what, what sort of day you're having, what event you're going to, what's, what's your day looking like. You can actually pick and choose the elements of it. So this is going to go in with shade two. So our Kabuki brush is so beautiful and light. These are so soft. Um, and I'll let you know how you can get one of these for free in a moment when I talk about the actual collection. So absolutely fab. So we give it a bit of a swirl. And you can see there's powder on the bottom there. I just give it a little bit of a tap, get any excess off. And then we're going to do circular motions all over the face. And this just helps set that makeup, makes it slightly sort of more mattified look, buildable, a bit more coverage as well. So I'm just going to look in this mirror as well. So bear with me. So I'm doing very light spherical motions going upwards into the hairline. And it doesn't, you don't need a lot of this. It's so light and say so it's light reflecting. So it doesn't tend to sit in um, creases or pores or areas of concern that you might have. You can just do very light motions. But it's so, it's actually really relaxing. It's such a soft brush, making sure you go down the edge of your neck. And then we're just gonna lightly dust again over the forehead. But this is what I love about these makeup is they're not thick and heavy, but you get the buildable coverage. So it is entirely up to you how thick a layer you do of your makeup. So, so that's the makeup there. So you could just, it's taking a slight sheen off of the, of the sheer foundation and it's sort of setting it more in pace, but it's actually getting more of a buildable color. Um, and it's, because you have got the colour in the powder, you can you could go a shade darker if you wanted to, if you wanted to look more of a sun-kissed look, or you can match exactly to your skin tone, whatever your preference is. So, the third element. Now we're going to talk about the Aluma. So we've looked at um, sheer foundations, we looked at mineral powder foundations, and we're now looking at concealers. So these are our concealers. We have nine shades of this, so it covers a lot of the spectrum of shades. Um, you can use it in a couple of different ways. It's, I mean, it's full of vitamin E as our mineral foundation is. So it's no nasties, all full of goodness for your skin, really feeding your skin. But there's lots of different ways that you could use this. You can actually use this for a very dewy look and you could put it underneath your beauty booster. So you wear your SPF, then go in with your Aluma, just a bit of a light coverage where you want to sort of shine underneath your skin. Um, and then you would go in with your beauty booster as normal and it gives us a little bit of a sheen underneath that or your mineral foundation, or you can then use it more of a concealer point of view and you can actually put it on after your beauty booster or mineral foundation. So it's lovely light. It looks a bit like a lip gloss type brush. You can probably hopefully see that. There you go. Hopefully you can see that in focus, but it's very, very easy to use. You can either use it straight on your face if that's what you'd like to do. You can put it on the back of your hand, get a brush in there. You can use your fingers. I tend to put it on the back of my hand because there's nothing worse than put, you know, you spent a while doing your makeup and then you put something directly on your face. Never a good idea. And then you can see what the colour looks like, what the actual texture is. So I put a bit on the back of my hand here. And you can also build it. And I would say the best tool really I, I like to use for using concealer is just my fingers because you've got the warmth of your own body and your own heat that then melts those and pushes those products into your skin. So I'm just gently going to tap that area here. So I'm not going to go too far up to underneath my eye because again, you can ha have things sitting in, products sitting in fine lines and wrinkles, but I just want to brighten and conceal. If you have um, dark circles or... A, color disfiguration under there then again you can do a pre-color of that you can do like a peach or a green whatever tending what your colors are but I tend to just go in directly here with a little bit of that here just press gently and just gently tapping you don't want a lot and it's just lifting 
lifting the eye but you don't want it sitting in it so as it dries you don't want to put too much product in that then it's sitting in any fine lines and wrinkles so I'm just gently tapping it around my orbital bone just and then you know you do want to put a little bit here as well just to sort of lighten and lift that area you can also put I'll just show you demonstrate here where else I would use it I tend to use it around the nose if you've got any broken veins or anything like that you can just tap it in gently here use the excess off from your eyes eye area um, if you have a particular blemish you can go in with that we've also got cream concealers that are a bit thicker a creamy consistency which are great that you can put underneath your makeup or on top of your makeup whatever you prefer so you just go around your nose area and it just helps and then you can go in with a setting powder as well afterwards if you'd like but this is a lovely light full of vitamin E um, you can also people can use these as cream contours so liquid contours so if you want to use it you could actually go a couple of shades darker and use it as a contour and then just blend it with your sponge with a brush with your fingers and actually use it as a sort of like a cream contour stick which is fab I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand just to do my other eye and I'll fast forward you while I'm doing this So what I like to do is just leave that for a moment, let it sit, let it warm, let it absorb um, into your skin. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to quickly tell you about the Flawless Collection. So you can buy all of these elements individually. You can buy the Beauty Booster, you can buy the Sunday, you can buy the um, Aluma, you can buy the Mineral Foundation. But with Tropic, what we always try and do is reward you for buying collections. We always put the items that go together really well as a collection and save you money by doing it. So if you purchase, let me just get them all in my hands. If you have a beauty booster, shade of your choice. They have got pre-populated sort of collection choices where it will say shade two, two, three or whatever it might be. But you can actually build your own and pick and choose, which is fab. Um, because you might want a darker Aluma than a lighter Aluma. So we've got beauty booster. We've got a Aluma shade of your choice. Then we've also got the mineral foundation. So you can buy these all three of these on your on their own, no problem at all. For all prices and information, just click on the links in the description box below. Click over to my web shop. So, but if you purchase the three, Tropic Light to reward you by giving you a free item, and that's going to be the Kabuki brush, which is so handy, and it is the best thing for actually putting on your mineral foundation. And that's worth £24 currently. Um, so it's definitely worth having that for free. So if you like the sounds of the makeup, you can build your own, pick and choose the elements that you like, and then you get the makeup brush for free. But I wanted to just demonstrate that today. It's so light and quick and easy. And what I love about it is that you pick and choose the elements that suit your lifestyle, suit your features, your face, how you like to perform makeup. You pick and choose. It is like a little bit of buff, a bit of buffet, a bit of pick and mix. Um, so the choice is yours, as they say. But yeah, pop along to my web shop. Please let me know if there's any other collections or any other products you'd like me to demonstrate. I'd love to sort of get to know you guys and what you love a bit, a little bit more. Please like and subscribe, all those sorts of things, and share the Tropic Love with as many people as you can. It's just natural cosmetics that are all actually made in-house here in the UK. It's absolutely fantastic. So have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.